Uh, so anyway. our next guest, uh, I, I, while we were talking about doing the show, I said, is there anything you don't want me to talk about? Uh, you don't want to bring up. She said no. So clearly, she's never heard the show. Regretting that now. <laughs> because, what would be? What would, is there one thing that you're like? Oh my god! I hope I, sh I should have said don't. No, nothing. I don't think so. Well, it's Emily Wickersham. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having me. It's been a while. It has been. Yeah. It's great to meet you. It's really great to meet you. <laughs> We've hit it off. Can you describe <laughs> me? Can you describe your first impression of me when you walked in? I'd say cool guy. I know. The glasses were on, yeah. you know. Let me recreate it, it was for the, the folks at, at home. Instantly. Yeah. Who are you? Didn't take Who is this guy? He's so cool. The wave cool the guy. wave is really happening <laughs> today, cool. too. Yeah, I washed and put shampoo in it today. Also, just, oh, look how cute. We're matching shoes. But yeah. you know, just your whole outfit, even with the sock and a little bit of skin showing. Whatever. We're Whatever. Not, we're not matching. Oh, well. Yeah. I know. You know, it's okay. You're both well, it's great to meet you. Yeah. We are. It's really nice to meet you. Yes. Oh, sorry. I'm leaning back. It's all right. Here, you can lean yeah, back. You can bring it towards you. Here we go. You. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so how many cults are you in? So many cults. Yeah. yeah I mean, I join a new cult every day, you Good know? For you. Yeah, thanks. There are a lot of them out there now. So many to choose yeah. from. Yeah. You're on the path of self discovery. Yeah, I did Nexium, but then I was Ooh. like, meh. Yeah. Too pop, too mainstream. Too mainstream. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You want to go exactly. to the underground. You're yeah. very like underground. Totally. Vibe kinda. Yeah. yeah. I'm from New York, you know? Yeah. Do you West, miss New York? Westchester. Do you miss it? <laughs> I do. A lot. I yeah. miss it a lot. Do you? Every day. Yeah. I miss, uh, if anybody who loves me is listening to this, tune out for a second. I miss New York more than I miss anybody I know. Wow. I just, do you uh, miss it? Well, I think that means everybody, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, all yeah. the time. I still say I'm going home when I go to New yeah. York. Yeah. yeah. Even though I actually don't believe in my heart that I'll ever live there again. Really? Because mm -hmm. wow. you have a family and you're here. Yeah, because yeah, the yeah. kids, I just don't see myself living in the city with two kids. Yeah. Um, I don't see myself living on Long Island. I actually know my husband would never move there. Yeah. Um, and we just bought a home in Texas. You did in we Austin? Did. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. I've never been, actually. Well, no, I have for like two hours. For like a South by Southwest or something kind of thing. Yeah. 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 It's neat um, there. Yeah. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, I, I feel you. I miss New York all the time. You should go. Um, I assume you'll be near Lake Austin. Yeah. And you should get a boat or rent a boat and go wake surfing. Oh, how fun. Have you been? Never. It's no. really fun. I got That's Rob's bad. favorite thing to do. Oh, really, Rob? <laughs> yeah, but I've only been twice, <laughs> but it was my... It really is. And it was yeah. so specific yeah. when he told me. And he, when he was telling me, he just ha he was so excited it wasn't wakeboarding. He's like, no, it's wake surfing. surfing. Then he sent me a video of him doing it. As soon as you let go of that rope, it's like you're... It's the best. It's the great... I mean, it's on... Wait, can we have a video of this for... for I have... Our... Yeah, yeah, I have a video. <laughs> um, he has it. I, I mean, for them. When... Or, yeah. The people. <laughs> but why, why it really was like amplified was my grandfather had passed away. And my friend's like, let me take your mind off it. Let me get you out. And he like took me on a lake. And for the first time ever, I went wake surfing. And it was like... Oh, that's so it's cool. amazing. Where do you really go? Do you fun. go around here? Uh, I went in Long Island, in Sag Harbor. Yeah. Over the summer, I had like a childhood summer because I didn't have work. Obviously, yeah. No yeah. Work. Was oh, it hard for you nice. to leave New York? Um, this past summer. No, recently? no. When the first time when you left, like when you were like I'm moving for good. You know, not really. I was excited to come out here, but now I miss it and I want to move back. How long have you been out here? Ten years. Yeah. It's been a while. A while. Maybe even longer. It's been a long time. Yeah. 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 Are you guys filming right now? Mm -hmm. How's How is it? It's weird. Yeah. It's really, really weird to have the mask on and the face shield and just be in that most of the day um, unless we're, you know, filming. Right. It's pretty wild. Yeah. And uncomfortable. Yeah. It's like not breathable. Is it changing the, like, is your script written in a, in a way that it would be you would notice before or after covid or is it like you guys as long as you guys are tested you can still be in scenes and be close and yeah there's no, no real it's not, impact it's making on screen i don't think so you yeah. would think but no not well, that good. i've noticed yeah. it's good that people still can do yeah. it found a way to do it well, I people, guess so. people are living it they don't want to watch it they're like oh remind me of the good old yeah, days exactly <laughs> <You can look laughs> the and know what people look days. like now you're on ncis yeah i am 
How big is the extra tent where people are dead or are going to be dead in the episode? It's pretty big. Yeah. It just depends on the episode. Is there just a bunch of people <laughs> going up to the catering that have like gashes yeah. or just their blood? You want to be a dead body? I think I could be good. a yeah. good one. I, I think... don't like the waiting around though. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. So if I could get a trailer <laughs> I'll and then work they, call on me, that. they call me in when I need to be dead. Uh-huh. Because I got stuff going on. Obviously. Look. You know. Yeah. True. You, know. you also played my girlfriend on Sopranos. I did. Yeah. The girlfriend or just like. Or I haven't up? gotten I to think... that season yet. Oh, yeah, Jamie's so rewatching it. Oh, I'm rewatching it. it too. Are I you? had never seen it. Oh, cool. Yeah. You guys were. Let me just say, at the time, I had no idea what I was a part of, like a minuscule part of. Yeah. It's pretty. It's incredible. Yeah. It's really, really an incredible show. I've I'm having that it. same feeling I watching can't it. I believe that. I keep telling mm. you, I think you'll enjoy it. Yeah, I really do. When, one mm-hmm. day you will. Did you did, before you came on to work on the show? Like you said, you didn't know what you were being part of. Did you hear any rumors or anything like about before you were on the show? No. Like, why? Why are you looking like that? Oh no, you're <laughs> looking at me like you're smiling. Like there was how old were you? Because I heard. want like the. Uh, I was like 21, 22. Oh, okay. So you I, were formed. Y- yeah. Very, what? very <laughs> formed. Her brain. Her... What does that mean? Your frontal you're lobe. Formed. Yeah, you're, I mean, not yet. Not That's really. 26. Not really. Like Men take longer. Women's lobes, go they on. cure faster. Go on. They cure. Do they? Uh, please come home, school Bo, and he has uh, <laughs> yeah. to study this. Yeah, basically, Cutter just got his front or front lobe. <laughs> By the way, there, there have been times where I've thought about like, oh, you just fully matured, or you're, yeah, ju- yeah. No, I know, I know. Jamie uh, Cutter is Jamie's husband who okay. never yes. gets sex or blowjobs or anything. I mean, <laughs> I'm it's just putting it true. on. That's like Damn. a very wow. that's a that's a very harsh blanket statement, and yes. that is a ne- that is untrue of the never. Yeah. The blowjobs are very rare, but does he get, get sex? But you said like two blowjobs a year. That's kind of. I mean, and it's, it's when he does like triple Lindy's. You know, he's got he's got to <laughs> perform some like miraculous. It's more than that, but when you have two very small children, yeah, and your time, ty- and it's hard also, to work them in. Like we and don't one have very we don't big. Have, when a very, very big child, and I'm never <laughs> alone ever since quarantine. I mean, my kid's in school at That's home. Right. I mean, like, he works from home. Yeah. Like, you know, it's hard to get into a rhythm. I get it. Per se. Why do you bring that up, just out of curiosity? He feels bad for him. Is I, he well, talking I've, to you about this? Uh, he... Listen, we, we, we're guys, you know? we talk. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, because Jamie just, you know, Jamie talk, Jamie has said that if it was up to her, you guys would have sex, what, like twice a month? No, more, uh, no, like four, like once a week. And blowjobs zero times a year, <laughs> <laughs> right? Which is fine. It's fine. I'm just saying this is who, this, I'm trying to get you. They're not my favorite you. thing. Sure. I'm trying to catch you up on 60 episodes okay. of, no, of podcasts. I'm trying to catch okay. Emily. Thank so you. I appreciate that. I appreciate She Thank really you. needed to know all I about did. my sex life. I, I did, in fact. Yeah. Yeah, I needed a big catch I think up. That's and it. I got it. I'm Does getting it. Two, two a month sound good for you, too? <laughs> he, let me just say, I make up for it in massive other ways as far as, like, it's not a blowjob. So, like, he's not, he's fine. Hand jobs. No. I, <laughs> I'm not going. What are you doing? He's fine. <laughs> What's he's, going on, he's very, He feels lucky. Just. He's Whoa, fine. what? <laughs> I wish I had my sunglasses. Yeah, I'm wow. I'm about to put a Braddock face I'm slipping into on. cool guy mode while you guys battle it out. Um, <laughs> this should have been on your list of things you don't want to talk I about. Know. I know. I'm thinking I probably should have said that. Had, just raise your hand when you're uncomfortable and we'll move on. We had a guest. <clears throat> Let me try this again. <laughs> we had a guest. Uh, that knew Rob as a child actor and um, had some Who? things to say. Chris Marquette. Okay. Had some things to say about Rob as a young man. What do you remember about Rob? Uh, had, had there any stories that we should know? Did he treat you fairly? I think you're looking at me. He did. He was <laughs> very kind to me. I th- That's right. think. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm kidding. He was. What do you mean? Of course. He was. Yeah, okay. He was very sweet. All right. Yeah. yeah. He always I wants... wish I had some bad stories. See, he hates white people, first of all, but he uh-huh. really just wants, he wants dirt on me. from Like, he I brought... do. I, sur- I seek it out. I don't have out. any dirt. I so wish I did. No. I always, well, I also have aired everything out on this podcast he's about out. me, it's so all it's out. hard to... It's hard. Yeah. It's hard yeah. to pin yeah. him down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, We've been trying to cancel him for a while. Oh. 
all that fun stuff. You, okay, so when you so you were twenty one, fully formed. Mm-hmm. You Full, go on this fully show. Formed. Oh wait, hold Flaunt, on. Frontal lobe. Just so just so we're clear. <laughs> exactly. I don't know what frontal else. Frontal lobe <laughs> formed. It's very hard to get Casim to book guests on the show. Like he likes to just forget about the podcast until the next one. But he yeah, couldn't correct. wait to bring this one guest on. When they guest on. Guest. Yeah. Guest. <laughs> we are guest. <laughs> this one Gaston. And when he brought the yes. guest on, the guest had horrible Wait, things to so say about me. You're so into me right now. Oh, yeah. Dude, Jamie's Rude. having a tough time even looking at me. Um, <laughs> the well, sunglasses? Yeah. It's a whole I, thing. I, I, I mean, know I don't even know him. Let's, sure, Let's talk about on-screen romance. Let's talk about off-screen romance. We were both oh. child actors, me and this other kid, yeah. and we did something when we were like nine where he said I bullied him. Really? Yeah, and he couldn't. I mean, every oh, week he he's like, a, is this the... I can't he had a real you story. Because I'm not. No, you're not. I'm not. You're not. You're Just also nice sucking face with her. You guys kissed, right? On this show? We kissed. You've never seen the show. No one's seen it. No I imagine if she was your girlfriend, you did. You've never seen the show. No, I've seen the first season, maybe the second season. Um, So so amazing! This is this is it's true. The only Sopranos (laughs) podcast that is not a Sopranos podcast. Right? Where are you up to watching it? Uh, Season six A. Oh, you far? Yeah, me far. I'm in four. Yeah. And where do you come in? Season, I think six A and six B. Mm-hmm. 6A and 6B. I don't know. I, they're they're all small, one season to me. Part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what do you... Re- what, okay, so you guys, you had scenes, you were uh, together on the show, now off off the show. What was that like? Or did you keep it very professional? You were just friends? Very professional. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't even know. What are you trying to get at? Yeah. I'm, I'm asking if there was... All, I'm being very direct. Was he there is, any? He is being direct. Well, I don't yeah. know. The sunglasses are throwing me off. Me yeah, too. Dude, you I guys will be like interrogated by some cool Hollywood I'm guy. I'm You have found your thing. God, I should... Cool guy. Get lower. Cool cats. <laughs> all right, let me, come, cash cats. let me come yeah. up to your level. He's very casual. Thank you. I'm much more comfortable Here now. we go. <laughs> oh. There you go. <laughs> oh. James. Oh. Come on. Ay, ay, ay. Those glasses are for people with very high testosterone. I'm going to send you out to go get my Postmates in a couple of Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I love You're you. not. I am. What okay. A... <laughs> all right, carry on. Do whatever you want in this. He basically uh, wants to... <laughs> what? He, he wants w- to hear bad things about me. No, so I, I want to know no, what your dynamic bad. was off screen. Yes. That's what I was asking. I don't, I think, I actually think maybe we went out with a bunch of people one night. One night we did, yeah. But I don't think, I think that was kind of it. Yeah. I, I, I yeah, I want to give you some good gossip and Were you dirt. living in Manhattan was, at the time? I was, you were. yeah. I was living downtown. Um... And I had no idea, by the way, what to do on the show. I had just started acting. I hadn't been acting at all in my life. And then I got that, and I was like, what What do I do here? Wow. How do I do this? <laughs> it's a good place to learn. Kind of. A little intimidating. Sure. You know? What were you doing before, and like, how did that happen? What I led up to just it? just like a girl in college. Then I dropped out of college. That's what's Grew up. up in Westchester playing sports. And What would you play? I played soccer, tennis. <laughs> Volleyball, whatever, all of them. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah. So I played what? a little tennis. Did you? After Do school. You? After school. After school, I played tennis. What that, does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> that means that um, me and my friends went out of our way to be huge dorks. And we would just get a racket and, and after school go play. So you play. weren't on the team. We weren't on the okay. team. The coach comes up to us because I, I could really... I can really smack that Hit ball. This thing. And the coach it's comes cool. up. He's like, hey, you, you should try out. I know. It's a little. He tried to recruit you. It'll just there. be me and you right now. <laughs> he tried to recruit you. And he tried to get me to, uh, 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 what, do you, what do you do? Try out. Try out. Yeah. Audition. Such a sports guy. <laughs> God, you're a big sports guy. And hey, I'm course. here to audition for the tennis team. I was like, oh, dude. And he's like, "You're good. You should try out." I was like, "Oh, well, would I make varsity?" He's like, "I can't tell you that." I'm like, yeah. "I need to know. I would make varsity." Oh, it's that's so, it's so you. <laughs> but see, you said you you're were like, a... "Is this worth my time?" <laughs> <laughs> you said, you "Yeah, were because a dork, it was for but... pa- it was I was passionate. I didn't want it to become my job." Well, hey guys, this episode is brought to you by our friends. They're really kind of our best friends now over at Braddock because, listen closely, right now they have a special offer exclusively for our listeners. Wearing masks. It's cold and flu season now. My two-year-old has to wear a mask at preschool now. So guess what he's wearing? A usable, uh, reusable, affordable, and comfortable breathable mask 
by Braddock USA. They have the best on the market. They are chic. They come in all these patterns and colors. You can coordinate with your outfits, the face covers, the masks. Um, so if you go check out their website at braddockusa.com, you'll see they already have great prices. But for a limited time, they're offering additional 20% off with promo code PJ Pants. Again, that's 20% off your entire order with promo code PJ Pants at B R A D D O C K U S A dot com, Braddock USA dot com with promo code PJ Pants. And every 10 masks you buy gets you a Rolex. Yep. Cool. I, it, doesn't it match the Braddock nicely? <laughs> Gorgeous. Super on brand. <laughs> you said you were a dork, but I don't think tennis people are dorks. Tennis people are. Are cool. I, I I used to take tennis lessons as a kid, and um, the kids I played with in my neighborhood went pro. Oh wow! wow. Yeah. Well, Florida, right? Florida. A lot of tennis mm. kids from Florida. Are there? Yeah. I didn't know that. Did you ever? Uh, I'm not a Florida fan. Did you ever go to Action Park <laughs> as a kid? I just watched the documentary. Me it's too. It's incredible. It's crazy. So good. Yeah, I did not go there. I'm glad. That's I didn't the one go there. that'll almost kill you. I did a lot. Uh, yeah. Did you? Oh yeah. It Where? was like a big thing. Where was it? It was in Wayne? No. Uh, Vernon Park, Vernon, New Jersey yeah. or something. Yeah, because yeah. they changed the name to Mount Vernon. But they were, the the legendary story that they tell is, so there's, when you walk in, you see this slide and it's a loop. But it's just, you just go down on your back. And it's, it's a ins- full it's insane. loop. So How when many they, people have died? Well, here's what happened. When they first built it. It's a lot. Uh, <laughs> it gets a lot. It is a lot. Yeah. yeah. It is a lot. When they first yeah. built it, this dude uh, was like, how are we going to test this out? So they started throwing mannequins down it, and the mannequins would go, like, the head would come out first. <laughs> yeah, seriously. And then the, they were like, who could we pay to do this? And one uh, kid was like, I'll do it for 100 bucks." Yeah. And they were like, all right, here's 100 bucks." He went, he survived, like, came out a little bloody. Then a couple, <laughs> a couple more people... They would, like, find teeth up there. Well, this is what course. happened. A couple more people went, and they started coming out where their faces were bleeding. So they opened up the thing to, like, fix something... Closed it. People started going again, and they came out with their backs, like lacery- <laughs> lacerations on yeah. their backs. And when they went in again to look, those people who hit the front of their face, their teeth had like hit a- had hit and stuck yeah. into one point where people's back were getting cut on the <laughs> people's <laughs> teeth. So gross. Insane. And, and by the way, a document. They have this documented. Yeah. It's a full document. Yeah. Th- there were rides there that were so crazy that like. All the time, I remember I'd be there and it'd be like, oh yeah, that's shut down right now. That's shut down because there's blood in the pool, this. And the kids who ran it <laughs> were wild. like, I think they had to be 16 or 18. And there were like 12 year olds who were lifeguarding who, yeah. when they would close down the park, they would all party in the park all night, fall asleep somewhere. And people would wake them up in the morning like, hey, it's time to lifeguard. Yeah. And they would just run. To, this place was, and it was the most fun place ever. Did you feel that when you were there that it was dangerous? Yeah. Well? Yeah. Big time. Because there was no like. You know how there's like people watching and they're like, okay, we're going to wait till that person finishes the slide yeah. and then you can go? Not yeah. there. Nothing. No, it was just like, yeah, what, like people are hanging out. Like it was kind of like your was own Was it theme all park. teenagers or were parents were there with children? Every, everyone was there, There right? were parents there, but yeah. everyone who worked there was just teenagers. Wow. Yeah. What's this Scary. called? Class Action Park. Great. Yeah. I think they made a, uh, Johnny Knoxville made a, a scripted sort of version of it too. Oh, before really? the documentary came out. Huh. But they- did the did the stunts like for real? But it was you know centered around this sort of scripted thing. Wow! But, yeah, check it out. Mm-hmm. I remember, so I I jumped off a cliff there, and my mom <laughs> took me, and one of her friends was, I mean you have to be so politically correct these days, but obese. <laughs> I mean is that just yeah, what, sure, that's, I don't yeah, know, that's, like what's heavy. very. What big. have they done to you? What have I they know, done right? to my poor Robert? <laughs> and there uh, there's a lot I'll say, but you know I used to be fat. I uh, I sympathize. <laughs> There's so there's this whole area where people jump off of cliffs and do all this stuff and all these people are just standing around drinking like having a good time and there was a slide and I don't think she knew that at the slide at the end of the slide there was like a 15 foot drop Ugh. like really bad and I'm when I say obese like we would uh, hang out with this woman and she would say like don't throw away your bacon grease in the morning because <laughs> she wanted it yeah I mean like she was she was a big girl awesome but she was just a big girl and. She went down the slide, not knowing the 15 foot drop, wasn't ready for it, full on like panic fall. When she hit the water, with the 300 people standing around, everyone went, oh, and it was like the crazy, and we were like, oh my God, that was, I won't say her name, but that was, that was her. Oh. And she came up to the top and it was like hundreds of people laughing yeah. at her, you know, 
But she survived. She's all right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. She did not. She's not one of the class action lawsuits against a fifteen said foot park. drop into a pool. Yeah, yeah. It was. It's crazy that they also like wouldn't clear out the pools. You know, they would all the people would just like be there and they would be piling on top of each other. It was. It's uh, nuts. Yeah. That is crazy. That's great. Yeah. And then they had this thing called an alpine slide, which yeah. was like a, I, I don't even know how like a track you get on. And then you're on this little cart and you push the thing and it makes it go faster or slower and people would just bash their heads like no on helmets. a daily basis. I think they put helmets in after people would just go down. This place was crazy. Yeah, it was like in the nineties, right? Like wow. Nine well what happened was the guy who opened it was um like a big stockbroker guy and they were like, You're too crazy for Wall Street. Like <laughs> and Wall Street was like the craziest yeah. of the crazy. And he was like, All right, well I'm gonna go to Mount Vernon and open up a fucking <laughs> go water to park. Mount Vernon. Really? Yeah, and that's what he, he did. He was high on cocaine or something. Probably. That's exactly You're what right. it was. Yeah. I really? Th- I mean, allegedly. Yeah. I don't know. Is this what the Wolf of Wall Street was about? Is this this part two? The <laughs> sequel? Maybe. What he does? <laughs> yeah. I mean, this, uh, and the place was the most, I've never, I can't think of anything that when you were a kid when they said, hey, today we're going here that you got that excited. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It was crazy. And like, you're, it, there was like black tar everywhere and it would be like 100 degrees and you'd be walking on it and the next day your feet would be burnt from the th- like they thought of nothing nothing yeah it's it was wild. just like hey you know $12 beers like come get them and they made they just made a shit ton of money wow yeah but Jimmy back to you not blowing your husband <laughs> <laughs> can you please this actually yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I'm just no, kidding just no more uh, <laughs> I'm joking <laughs> what um well we we had a guest on here who was Jamie's friend who was uh her name was Becca and she was part of like her name the... still is becca yeah 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 <laughs> she <laughs> now hasn't changed it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. she was part of the uh what was it called the fappening or it was like the hack into her yes. phone into nudes and all this have you ever been like blackmailed Ooh, or anything like no, that no no and now i'm a little nervous <laughs> I'm like, yeah What's well my that's phone this is our it guy casim and he's <laughs> mm-hmm. uh yep he knows your cloud password. Yeah. Great. yeah. Is your phone optimized? Uh, what? I'll take care of it. Just give me five minutes alone with it. Um, well, this that's is, scary. This yeah. is funny yeah. because I, I've been, I took a picture of myself uh, in the mirror oh, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want to know if you guys have pictures like that. I know you I don't. don't because your kids are going through. You're right. Do you have sexy photos of yourself on your phone? No. Just in case you want to fire fire one off. No, I'm not like a sexy photo taker or sender. Neither yeah. am I. <laughs> but that's, my, and that's why I got to yeah. find the right angle. I feel like it feels very silly to me. Yes. Yeah. Some, some of my friends are really good at it. I'm like, oh, that looks so good. It can't good for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not me. Mm-hmm. Not me. Mm-hmm. I'm with you. Yeah. There's some girls feels who awkward. can do it where it's, very. it doesn't seem so... Pose, yes. but then there are some when you get it and you're just like, this is what you're doing with your time, like, you yeah. Know? But I also, I think the whole thing is goofy. Instagram, oh, when I see people spending some, time on that, there are some girls that can make it seem like they literally just went, oh, boop, and it was no I big deal. Know. For right. this, there's other ones that you know were sitting there for like 45 minutes getting the. I I marvel at some of my friends that literally can just know exactly uh, yeah, where yeah. to go for the photo. Where I'm like, <laughs> yeah, like, I'm I'm terrible. Terrible. I am too. I feel that's how I feel kind of also when I think I, I'll just I am not like a, a phone sex person mm-hmm. because it it makes me laugh every time I think about like a FaceTime sex situation <laughs> or like talking. I just it makes me laugh. I can't yeah. do it. Yeah. Personally. Even actresses have a tough time. I guess so. Mm. Wow. It is very <laughs> silly. Yeah. You know, and it's not it, for everyone. It's I mean, not when for everyone. I was playing baseball. It was all we had. It's all you had. And, and some might were... say that's all you still have. <laughs> See, I once cameras once cameras on phones got like H D, I stopped everything. I was like I was like, Oh, this is not good. And you know? before? Before that, yeah, there like when when the cameras first came out on phones, like if I was with chicks and I was like, Let's take pictures of this, oh this is crazy because it's like you can kinda tell what's a, it wasn't like like yeah. the flip phone that had a camera on it. It was like, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's get yeah, crazy. Yeah. You know, let's take pictures let's of whatever crazy. because no one's <laughs> gonna phone. like I, I was here for this and I could barely tell what's going yeah. on in the photo. Mm-hmm. You know, but now like uh iPhone zero. There's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I took I took like one video of me working out like a month ago and I was just so ashamed. Dude, hell yeah. Let's What'd throw it up. What did you do with it? You were ashamed. Nothing. I just put like music to it and <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, why were I, you um, ashamed? I have no, the tiger. I was just like because I I installed a pull-up bar in my uh 
apartment. I wanted to see what it looked like when I was doing pull-ups. So I like f- put it over on the thing. Might have taken my shirt off. And, <laughs> and not I, what you thought. And I recorded it. Oh, no, it was great. Oh, okay. I was, yeah. Oh, Kasim would be. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Kasim's. <laughs> I mean, glasses oh, Kasim. Fair not is sun, sunglasses Kasim wouldn't look twice at it. He'd be like, oh, this is yeah, okay. terrible. But. Look, I would love to see it. I know you would. Let's we're not. See. I'm we're, proud of you for taking how do you say, are these prescription? They sure are. Oh, okay, because I'm like, <laughs> those I cannot see you. They sure are, mama. Thank you. Yeah. Those are, those look great on you. What are these, they a do. Wayfair style? It, is that what you would call it? Like yeah. the Ray-Ban, Ray-Ban? Yeah, yeah I feel like yeah. every sunglass is essentially a version of that. Yeah. Were you just saying you're proud of me for taking a video of myself working out? Did I say that? Yeah, you're like, I'm proud of you. We're going to offer you that up on, on. on Patreon. <laughs> it's so sweet. You're like... um. How much on Patreon do you think we would charge for? Oh, at least 15. 15 bucks for that? It's like our version of Rob, OnlyFans. Rob, I went in only. Um, Rob could do a pull-up only fans? OnlyFans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I tune in. Right. right? Yeah. I paid monthly. Uh, uh, you sounded like how Claire on The Bachelor, how she's like, my dad would be so proud of me oh, right now. Don't it's like ever you're in, tell me I sound like Claire. You're in a Bachelor. mansion with like 30 <laughs> model dudes getting paid to be on television and find a date. And she's like, he would be so proud that I just showed up. Like, it's I like, kept no, he showing wouldn't. up. I kept showing up. How low are your dad's standards? Or were they? Oh, Sorry, rest in peace. R.I.P. I mean, I don't know. I ha- I've, I'm happy Claire's in love. Oh, I missed this week. They it wasn't it on. Week. I don't watch. Trust me, all I wanted was d- a bachelorette from the distraction of just life. But yeah, there was no bachelorette on. <laughs> a bachelorette from the distraction of life. <laughs> I do. Um, that's, I, that's why I love them. I should start watching. What Do you have like guilty what's, pleasures? Yeah, what's your bad TV TV? Mm. When you're alone in your home. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What Put are the you sunglasses watching? on. What are you watching? It's creepy with the glasses. What when I bite my I bottom. Watching? Hang on, let me try it again. I bite my bottom yeah, on this one. Yeah, that'll really shift so my answer. Wrong, when you're home alone. Uh huh. Ew. What are you watching? <laughs> ew. <laughs> Jamie, wait until I'm done before you start saying ew. Do you go to YouTube and search Casim G? Yeah. I will. <laughs> yeah, some of my best work. Oh, um, really? No. Okay. Uh, please don't. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, Jamie's, well, Jamie's Postmates is here, Gabby. She's hey, trying to what give you a you hint. Get? But... You I got a, uh, show's a I mess. got a Pokeball. <laughs> oh, yum. So do you have guilty pleasures when it comes to TV? Mm, not, I don't really watch reality TV. Not really. I, Good for no. you. No. We watch a lot. I don't Housewives? watch that much TV, Ooh. to be honest. Really? Not really. Yeah, no. I then don't. what is there to do? Yeah, what do you do? I know. I work a lot. It's <laughs> right. Yeah. Wow. yeah. So what about Corona? When Corona was going on, what did you do? I was watching a lot. Of, I was walking a lot and watching a lot of TV. But I watch like reruns of stuff like Sex in the City or Yeah. Yeah. Shit's Creek. Nothing like Do you watch movies? Yeah. I mean yeah. You're just not a gal that like sits in I'm front of your like, TV. Do a lot. you like not movies? Really. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're ju- we're just if like at all because we're like, what do you mean? If no, I, I have mean, free time, that's all I do. By I'm the just way, like not addicted to. I know people are addicted to The Bachelor. I'm not. Yeah, but I guess I could be. Maybe I should. Be. If you watch, of course you. Once you watched, you would. Yeah. Be. Listen, I yeah. watched it ten years ago for a couple seasons, and I was into it. Then I was not into it, and then doing this podcast, they're like obsessed. Oh, so, so I decided you got to back get into it. I decided to get okay. back in, but I'm happy I am this season because this season is pretty good. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. it's like. It's yeah. sloppy. It's a sloppy, I like sloppy, sloppy season. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's really. Yeah. It's bad. And and normally, what happens is normally these people fall in love because it's like our first date is taking a hot air balloon over these farms and like right. the most beautiful thing. But now because of Corona, they're like, oh, we're gonna sit over there. Yeah. Like you know, and they're, they can't go anywhere. They're realizing they're not really falling in love. Right. With, like she's kind of like, hey, how come no one's like really? She's like, are you guys just here to bro out? Like yeah. you know, <laughs> this is all. So it's good. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's okay. interesting. I'll watch it. If you don't like reality TV, that's just I, crazy. I watched, um, what's the one where there was, they were separated by the, a wall? What's that called? Oh, Love is Blind. Love is Blind. Great. I watched that. Blind at first. Did you oh, like it? the it good old fine. days of oh, quarantine. See, if you don't like that, 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 was that, was fine. Fine. that was the beginning of quarantine. That yeah, was that like was. such an yeah. innocent time. If you, <laughs> you don't like Tiger that. King. That yes. Was, yeah, yeah, if yeah. you don't like that show, though, you probably won't like any reality show. Because Love is Blind had all the... All the things you want. Love is Blind was things. sloppy as well. Yeah, it by was. the way. Oh, with that the drunk girl sloppy. trying to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, yeah. you know. And like the 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 other girl that literally would have cut a bitch for her guy that Jessica wanted. The bartender. Yeah. Yeah, it's always oh. the bartender. 
<laughs> you know what's so Kasim when we when we talk about like what's mm, the easiest thing. and hardest uh emotions for us in acting me and Jamie have the opposite which is like for me for Jamie being sad is super easy and be <laughs> sorry Jamie yeah. and much like real life <laughs> and being being angry is really hard mm -hmm. and I'm the opposite it's like sad is I'm the opposite also yeah, sad I hate yeah me yeah too. and anger is like bing yeah. like I'm like right there yeah. and Chasm's thing was sexy but today He's really come out of his shell. Yeah, maybe he's uh, been yeah. working on it big time. Yeah, I, I mean, time. I don't have anything to compare it to, but you know. Yeah. Well, no. the opposite Just of know this. this is me at my max. <laughs> yeah. It gets worse. <laughs> yeah. This is as good here. as it gets. Do you like video games? Because then he's really, really yeah, sexy. Yeah. Nintendo I have 64. a. Yeah. Yeah. Mario Kart. Oh, well, Go Mario on. Kart. Go Wave on. race. Ooh. Whoa. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. D so that's your. That's that, incredible. Yeah, <laughs> oh. I know. Wow. <laughs> That's your your easiest emotion in acting is anger. Anger, yeah. Sadness is. Oh, I don't know if anger is easiest, but sadness is very hard for me. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's just because I think that I feel like people just don't buy it when I'm angry. I don't. You're so kind. That's I mean, I, we sweet. don't know each other very well, right. but like you exude kindness. That's very sweet of you. I mean. What are you saying about me? You exude anger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take nah. it. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure. It, I'm sure it translates in. That's probably why my kids laugh at me when I yell at them. Do they? No. You, yeah. Oh. You, you get pretty serious. Yeah, you've heard dude. me though. Oh yeah. my God, Cassim, you weren't there this Sunday. You missed the best Jamie yelling at her son what of happened? all time. She goes. I can't remember it happened. She so goes. Well. You know, you're the only kid in your class who hasn't raised three dollars for the blind person's dog. <laughs> <laughs> and then his That's shoulders true. slumped down. He was like, I'm sorry. Listen, they have been learning about charity over Zoom for Good. a full week. And they each class gets um, an organization to raise money for. And theirs is this particular um, seeing eye dog training center. So each of them has to raise $3 by doing things around the house. Um, and then we donate as their parents. We either match or obviously succeed their donation. And we and we you know, sponsor some training for dogs. And he has had zero motivation about it, and it really bothered me. And I was asking him to do very simple things. So yes, I did tell him, you were the only one that hasn't raised their $3 for the seeing eye dog. Me and Cutter laughed our asses off. Yes. <laughs> we were like, oh, that's it. And then the best Those are part- Those the kind of things that I'm willing to make him feel bad about. Like, I'm not gonna make him feel bad that he's a terrible reader. Right, that I'm gonna make looks. him feel bad about the fact that he doesn't Is care. Is he a terrible reader? He's not a good reader. I it's just thought that's like How you're supposed he? to take time. He's seven. Yeah. I've read books with him and he's got a he guesses the word. sound it out and he yes. guesses. He guesses too much. Yeah. So like he'll see the first letter and just assume it's the word change when it's the word like Jeez. color. I don't know. You know what yeah. I mean? So I, I'm I, I am not a teacher. And I unfortunately am one right now and it's rough. Did, I feel like you would be a good teacher, actually. No. Thank mm -hmm. you, but no. I'd be a good, like, acting teacher or, like, fun teacher, but, like, the patience it takes to teach these kids, it's, yeah. it's, it's tough. I mean, but I think I'm, I'm, I'm turning into the mom I never wanted to be because of the situation we're in where it's like I know he could do better, so I get frustrated because I, I know he's an intelligent kid, and I know that if he actually didn't guess the word and tried, we would get it, and we would get it, and we would get it, but he just wants to rush through it right. and say that he read three books for the day. So I get I get upset because I'm like, you, I know you could do better than this, Bo. Like this, so anyway, we don't need to talk about this anymore. I... Uh, the I'm, I'm glad you're raising money for a blind guy's dog. That's cool. I think that's a lot better than what we used to. They used to have us go door to door, and I'm sure maybe you guys did this too. But in in like sixth grade, we would have to sell magazines, uh, and we'd have to like hit a certain a goal, and like they would reward kids with like here's a five pound gummy bear. And yes, like, I would take. Okay. I would have my dad I take did. it. I would go to my dad's office and just yeah. go. He yeah. worked at a stationery company, and I would just go to like everyone's cubicle and like try and sell. This, this was shit. the biggest racket. In school. Like I don't know how they convinced <laughs> an entire school to go do someone's salesman like work. You're you know, so like right. I I was a I was a fucking kid, and I was going door to door in my neighborhood alone. <laughs> Selling, ma my parents didn't go with me. They didn't like drive and just like watch you. No, 
I went alone. Good thing this was pre 9-11. Is this in this Florida? This was pre, pre 9-11 oh, in Florida. Oh, and he was in Florida. Oh. And I would go door to door and ask people to buy shit. And if somebody didn't buy something from me, I, I for whatever reason, I wrote, I took my marker and I wrote a curse word on their front door. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. You're like, yeah, read that. Wow. And so one guy... One guy who I wrote shit on the front, he he like he saw it at, like you know minutes later, and then came and found me because I you know I was making slow progress around the neighborhood, so I, I was only like half a block down, and he came yelling at of me. Of course he did. Yelling, and he's like, "Hey you," and I was just this little fucking kid trying to hit my goals. And my, you know, my parents saw. They're like, what's going on? Big asshole writing curse words. It was passive. I know. Very passive aggressive. Anger must be easy for you to access (laughs) too, huh? (laughs) And uh, to me at the time, I just thought that was what you get for not, you know. But my parents came out and they saw this big angry white guy yelling at their son. And so my mom is like, you know, Middle Eastern firecracker, and she goes off on this dude. And then she gets me home and she's like, what did you do? What did you do? And I was like, I just wrote shit on his door. <laughs> <laughs> At least you were honest. I wrote shit on his door and a couple other people's door. And um, I don't know why I- What I, did she say? Oh, I got beat. Oh. <laughs> oh. Nice. Yeah. It, As you should have. Different yeah, time, I, you know? I, Well, yeah. Well, it's know. still the same in their house. Yeah. There was a time in my life where I, I got beat constantly and I remember the moment it stopped was when my mom took her sandal off and came down on me and, and I, I grabbed her hand like this. Ooh. It was the day I became stronger. That reminded me. Do you of guys like have any trauma like Jason that? Jason and Freddy Krueger. I no. never became stronger, but we we've talked about this. Yeah, I got my ass beat too when I was young. Did you? Yeah, yeah I had a Cuban Latin fiery mom. Wow. So yeah. Yeah, but the chancla thing, taking off the shoe, transcends. You know, it's it's not just an uh, a, a thing of a certain race or an ethnicity. No, it, no, it is no, no. it is multicultural. It was the easiest thing they could find to, to chuck be at beat. You. Yeah. yeah. And if sometimes it was a, a I sandal. I wouldn't get beat with a shoe. I would get it thrown at me across a room. Oh, the George Bush? Yeah. Oh, that's called the George Bush? Yeah, when he you does. throw a shoe at, yeah, you throw a shoe at the president. I don't remember this. Um, tune into this. politics, Good. will you? No, you didn't get beat as a kid? No, I didn't. Oh, man. I know. No, shucks. A completely so well-adjusted person. For you're, you're, the, you're such an outcast in this exactly. room. Exactly. <laughs> I'm so easy to be sad. They did a good job with her. Yeah. Yeah, you're fine. Well, there's, right. Are they still together? They are. Fucking A. They it's are. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Mine were never together. <laughs> no? There wasn't even one day of... Yeah. No. You know. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, there's... So there's this show, Married at First Sight, because you love reality shows, right? I love them. Uh, obviously. <laughs> like, listen, you're not fitting in. Say you were beat and love reality TV. <laughs> Maybe that's what makes you love reality TV. You have to be beaten as a child. Maybe. Night. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just figured it out. So there's this show called Married at First Sight. Okay. And it's exactly what it sounds like. People meet on the altar. Mm-hmm. They get married. They move in together. Now they're married. They're living together. Yeah. And what was so great is like there was this couple and on day three, uh, they're they're like in bliss, you know, like honeymoon phase. Everything's great. Like we're perfect for one another. We see exactly why they match us. And it's like, oh, what about when you have kids and this? And he's like, yeah, well, my kids are going to be good. And then the dick guy was like, yeah, and if they're not, they get a whooping. And she was like, what? And he's like, whoa. Somebody did not. That was God. He doesn't like when you hit kids. Did you nope. even know there was an upstairs? No. <laughs> I don't think. I still don't think there is. That's God. Uh, okay, so I'd rather that well, than the fucking spider. There's oh, spider. There was an incident. It's a long How time big? ago. Not big. No. But Jamie, you think Joe Rogan has these problems? This big. <laughs> really? Down oh my here, Jamie, right in front of my face. She said this big. <laughs> Hanging from oh, his little a slight string. Exaggeration. <laughs> Jamie, no, I'm not. That is four times the size no, of the spider. No, I'm not. I believe you. I believe you. Like we this. have it. I, I'm going to pull up the footage for Please. you right now with my face. I'm not a spider girl. Not into spiders. No? Me neither. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think there are. Some people are okay with them. I don't like, know. I'd be into a girl who's into spiders. I'm into the, the goth oh. thing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And I feel like they are. The glasses are back people. on. The yeah. prescriptions. They are, are back. insect people. <laughs> <laughs> he has such a different vibe with those sunglasses. By the way, yeah. Rob backed up too. Okay, here it is. Ready. <laughs> I, I don't even see a spider. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> I don't That's even see a spider. Favorite. I just, I look you so here. Sure you By the way, when Kasim yeah. asked for people's favorites for episodes, yeah. people put the spider stuff. Absolutely. 
So here. We want to do like a best of. I did, I did not see a spider. Here's what happened, Emily. So we're sitting here. We're Thank doing you. a podcast, right? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Just talking, whatever. And I look over at Jamie and Jamie's like. <laughs> and he's just like terrified. I don't know. Horror. What. You do horror very well. <laughs> yeah, thank you. you. That was, that's number two. <laughs> mm-hmm. You have to be beaten as a child. Yeah. And, and the horror is very easy to access. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and, and I don't know what, like my brain, like my brain almost went to like, there's a ghost. <laughs> like, I don't even know what, but Jamie was, Jamie's face was so frightened. I, I, like, it looked gutter- like I like it. guttural screamed. I was like, <laughs> Yeah, you didn't play the noise that came with it. The noise is really... It's, it's really something. She's our scream queen. You're our little reaction kid. <laughs> you know, yeah. the reactions. It's like with the episode with the flashlight. Jamie didn't what know. What was that? Jamie didn't Thank know. Thank you. No, Wait. did you say what she is said, that? No, no, I said, what was that? What is that? Or? Yeah, I don't know what you're Thank talking you. about. Okay. Great. Uh, right. I didn't either. That was a okay. test. <laughs> you There's. I have a box of sex toys. Uh-huh. <laughs> so a listener, put the sunglasses on. <laughs> the sex a listener said that they had like a crush on Jamie and then they talked about how they have a flashlight, which is it looks like a flashlight, but when you open it where the light would be, there's like a mold of a vagina. Oh. Yeah, it's and you just could, ugh, not it's gross. <laughs> Yeah, Cass, I'm like the third, fourth time. It really gets, it starts to get gross. It's not for me. So Cassim, uh used to do YouTube videos that had uh, interviewed porn stars. This was in 2009. Yeah. Oh. I've changed. <laughs> hey, no judgment. Sure, no enough. judgment. And my lobe has formed. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. Pre- Your that lobe? That was pre-lobe form. My lobe. <laughs> oh, sorry. Lobe. So he, uh, As so in Lisa. we were like, next week we have to bring in the fleshlight for Jamie. And we just put it on the desk and we're like, Jamie, have at it. And she's like, oh, what is this? I'm like, the pleasant Jamie. I'd after- like to see this. It's the, on video. The video okay. or the flashlight? I'm gonna, You're going to no, love I'm this gonna podcast. Look it up. Yeah, I'm going to look it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They torture me sometimes. Yeah, it seems it's like just it. Just fast too. forward the parts about uh, <laughs> reality TV. They also had a guy that um, puts Fart Simpson. He puts together, he takes little pieces. We've got the of, best viewers. Of your, <laughs> of like things you've said. And makes a keyboard of it. And he pranks calls people with the keyboard of things you've said. So it makes a conversation. Oh, that's does that make sense? Yeah, it does. So he did it to a sex shop and had me basically proposition this guy. And I was crying laughing. But <laughs> I couldn't best. believe what they were. Because what, what happened Good. is. Oh, and one of the lines was, I don't do blowjobs. <laughs> yeah. And what <laughs> happens was. Yeah. When we had the fleshlight, some people watch and some people listen. So I'm like, Jamie, can you describe it for the people who listen? She's like, well, it looks like this flesh-colored, meshy vagina thing. (laughs) So she calls up the sex shop and the guy's like, well, what are you thinking? And she's like, well, it looks like this flesh-colored. It was was so... It was so good. So good. So good. Amazing. Um, yeah. So now you know what a flashlight yeah, is. Yeah, thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And you if you want to take this part out. cultural over here. <laughs> no, I like it. I want to know what it's like to be on NCIS, okay? Okay. You can do that thing that actors do where they talk about their character. Oh. And you can be like, well, she likes, and she's this type, because I, I would love to hear about kind of what it takes to be on a show that's like, a long running. It's been out for how many seasons? Eight. This is the eighteenth season. Wow. Eighteen and seasons. And how many have you been on for? Seven. That's amazing. It's a wow. lot. It's a lot. What's that like? What's What's it like? And and how, as an actress, do you feel sometimes that you're um, this keeping you from doing other things that you like, or are you like completely content uh, on in the role that you're in? I mean, what's what are your goals and aspirations? You're being so serious all of a and sudden. It's I the think glasses. What a shift. I want to know. These are things I want to know. Uh-huh. Superman. And then yeah. we can get back to Superman. talking about uh, flashlights. Fake, fake pussy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is when he turns t- turns the ladies on. Look, I'm dynamic. I can do it Very. all. Very dynamic. Very. <laughs> You're dynamic. <laughs> you started this podcast out so horny for me, and it's been such a shift. I, you have read me wrong. <laughs> oh, okay. I was proud of you. We'll I talk after the show. Very similar. Very, very clearly, similar. Very easy to mistake. Stop. And by the way, this body language is not inviting to me. <laughs> <laughs> stop. Stop guarding. You can tell she was guarding her whole body from me. <laughs> I, I sent Jamie a video one time of her where Kasim is talking about. It was it video games, I think. Oh yeah. And Jamie's face is just she's like 
I'm <laughs> looking at him like he Sometimes has Sometimes I head. forget that we're actually doing video recording of this because for the beginning, we really didn't. So Do you notice that to... when you talk, I'm like, I'm sitting like this? <laughs> Legs akimbo? Yeah. Do you notice the difference? Come on, Anyways, Jane. Uh, we can tell you about all our other old episodes, but I'd also I'd, like to hear. I'd like to hear about them. But your character. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but my character. Um, you guys seem like you're having so much fun in the show. We from are. your Instagram. I am. Yeah. I mean it's been it's been uh an amazing thing, actually. Like I feel like being on a show you guys know for how long it was set it, it was, was set- ten years, but seven seasons. Yeah. 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 It's a long time. Yeah. It's a really long time. And how many how All that many- time to fuck up the ending. <laughs> oh, <laughs> He's never even watched the show. Yeah, he just goes off like YouTube. I just, yeah. I go, so I go. Good. Yeah. So good. Um, it's been great. I don't know. You know, I feel like I've learned to act on the show. I had never been on something so consistently. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and and I've worked with great people. They're really kind and creative and... It's just a lot. It's yeah. 10 months out of the year, and I, I can't really do anything else because it's, you know... So, 10 months? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's really 24 time. episodes? Yeah. So it's a lot. You guys did... I'm in the business. Ten, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we did a max... We would do Sometimes max Sometimes I forget 13. you're a TV yeah. star. <laughs> yeah. What, um... Max 13. And how many months? Six months? Five, six months? Yeah. Well, they were hour long with no commercial. So right. they were... I mean, I think by the end, each episode was like almost... Three weeks. Yeah, something yeah. even longer with, yeah. by the yeah. end. They're taking a long time. Yeah. So in your two you months that you're it. off, you're just you just want to veg or I go to wake New York. Surf. I wake surf. Mm-hmm. I go to my parents live in the Sag Harbor in Long Island, and I just hang out. Yeah. I I, I get so tired at the end of the season. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I also feel like <clears throat> that type of show and those types of roles that's hard. I feel like that's those aren't e- that's not easy to do. Yeah, you know? yeah. Because you're not just playing relationships and characters, but you're it's it's procedural shows. There's there's a lot of specific things about those types of characters that I don't think is easy to do. I played a detective once, and I was not good at it. Yeah, it's hard. It is Freeze! hard. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you. They were like, that guy would have ran away. Jamie, try it again. I like, think we cracked the case. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty much me. <laughs> good job, everyone. Like Let's clean up these bodies. <laughs> it was a pilot. Didn't get picked up. Shocker. Oh. No. Anyway, sorry. No, it it is um it is an interesting skill set because a lot of it is especially on this show is uh like memorization of really technical jargon, right? Which is really really hard for me. Um, but I've learned and you have to how say to, it like you, yeah, like a normal person, right? Um, so yeah, I, it's I have a funny skill set now. Um, but it's <laughs> it's good. No, but I have like learned to be on a set in a way and learn how to act in a way that I probably wouldn't have picked up uh, on other sets. I, I don't think. Yeah. So I get that. Yeah. You know, like when you go to get your car fixed, you you could repeat exactly what he said, but you don't know what he said. You don't know what he said exactly. <laughs> right. That is, a, that is a good skill set. Yeah, great skill set. What? So there's. I saw something that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Cassim, I already know your answer. I'd like to know your I'm glad guys' glad we answer. have that kind of relationship. Uh-oh. Yeah. So <laughs> there was a thing where there was a Zoom, and I guess somebody forgot that the thing, the Zoom was still I on. I heard about this, yeah. And next thing you know, the person started masturbating. <gasps> I didn't hear about this. Yeah. <laughs> this is a New Yorker. It was a first grade class. No, I'm just A kidding. journalist was, for the New Yorker, right? Right, yeah. yeah. And he started masturbating. So I want to know if you guys are in that spot. I don't. How did he not know the Zoom wasn't over? And how did he not turn like put his computer down? Well, here's the thing: some people on desktops have Have other things open. Yeah, or or you have like a little camera, not like a laptop where the light comes on. Yeah. So, or he's just a freak. Right, like Did he he's just stay crazy. Well, sometimes the computer and do it. Yeah, he was like he was watching he porn, probably had a looking porn. right into the screen. Because I've clicked out of a Zoom and like been doing emails, talking to people as the Zoom's going on. I just don't have the Zoom on. Yeah. And if they would say, "Okay, meeting's over," I'm like, "Okay, bye, guys." I would assume maybe somebody ended the meeting, so maybe somebody didn't, and that's what happened. Oh shit! And did they say like, "Hey, I see you"? Uh, well, the the ladies were nice, and you know, J O I, right? That's what it's called, jerk off instructional videos on porn sites I've heard I don't know <laughs> I, they I've have heard, instructions I heard that they have those I things think I, might have I would just think people that go new. to porn sites don't <laughs> well, need instructions on how to jerk off <laughs> good point yeah um, but what do you guys do like what's your what's your like all of a sudden you're in a normal zoom and you're like hey what, what's 
What's I that think guy I doing? Would, I would, I don't know. Leave the meeting? I guess, unless I was intrigued, but I would oh. either stay and watch or leave. Okay, so in now, one that's side, an interesting in one side it's well, Wilmer so, Valderrama, and the so other side is Cass and G. You're like, this, yeah. Right. Rob. Like if it's we Wilmer, each have our own. you're gonna watch. If it's Casim, you're shutting the laptop, <laughs> right? Especially with the glass, the non-sunglass Casim. Yeah, we need the sunglasses. Okay. Cool guy, on. sunglass Casim. Okay. Different, different. Yeah, you gotta watch. Different. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what's wow, the move, that's crazy. Jamie? I should shut it off. You yeah. shut it off. I only because I feel would feel terrible for the other yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. That, like, I just would feel so bad if they knew that people were watching. What if you're in a room with like, there's like eight people that it's going on and you see him start to do that. Do you say like, hey dude, we're we're still on. Do you let him know? I wouldn't say it to him, I but would I would leave. like somehow say like, make it known that- like, Anyone not jerk having... off lately? <laughs> <laughs> so what's yeah, everyone does doing? Does anyone see this in my screen? Or can you see everyone's screen right now? Because I could see everyone's screen. I would screen. literally say that. I would be like, yeah. can everyone see everyone's screen right now? That's what I would say. That's uh, a good move. That's mm-hmm. so embarrassing. And I know what Kasson does. No, I would text him and I'd say, hey dude, lower. Closer, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's rough, it's rough. That's it's why really... I always go by, you gotta have a separate device for all that. You know, yeah. I zoom on my laptop, and I <laughs> yeah, and I have my iPad for other for other stuff. I was I was sitting with Bo in his Zoom the other day in his class, and the the kids need grown ups like they he, they're still so little like they need us to help them find shit whatever. And this little girl was like crying because she couldn't find something, and the teacher's like, "Do you have any your parents around or another grown up?" And she's like, "My mom's in a walk." And I can't go to my dad because he's in his room on a call naked. <laughs> 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 the teacher just started laughing so hard. I was like, because it's just, you know, what are you going to do in this uh, time? This new world. The, 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 I told you, the, I, I mentioned it briefly, but I, I've been fine with this. Bo start has started every two weeks. Once a week, he gets to school, go to school for three hours, mask the whole time. It's something. But Jack, who's been going to preschool since July, understand it's fluent cold and flu season but they're making him wear a mask now and he's a baby really? he's two and he i we had i had a mask party the day before at home to, and i bought him ones with garbage trucks on it and dinosaurs to try and make yeah, it exciting buckus. yeah buck us mm-hmm. uh nice. but le- seeing him walk into preschool the other day because we can't walk them in obviously so they get out of our cars and we just like shuffle them to their time. teachers like him looking back at me with like most of his face covered was just that was like a hard no for it's me. It's gotta be great for the ugly kids though. Like Jack's yeah. very handsome. When He's I had looker. acne in high school, would have killed. For that's a what mask. I'm saying. Yeah. That's yeah, but now true. Can I get a mask that covers up now though? You're two years old. Yeah. Yeah, that's rough. Such a well, bummer. Well, Cassim's acne started at three. Oh. I was wearing glasses at three. <laughs> Did they have the strap around oh, the back the of your head? Ones, yes. All the odds have been stacked against Aww. me since oh, okay. a young, young age. Well, I threw your prescription on for a minute and was have a yeah. headache from it still. Uh huh. I got astigmatism. That means my eyes are shaped like footballs. I, uh, oh, huh. The spectrum of cool that you've danced across today <laughs> is. is really, I am all it's like watching, be it's like watching a young Gregory Hines. <laughs> really. You're just so impressive, dude. Are you but, me, can I eat my Poke Bowl while of we course, do it? Okay. Oh, great. Okay. So it's it. going to fucking stink well, in here. Jamie could only show up for an hour today and she was 15 minutes late, but sure, eat your fucking Poke Bowl. Why <laughs> yeah, not? Dude, so anyway. Yeah, give it to her. Dude, do you feel bad? <laughs> you should. He can. Thank you, Bryce. Um, Ugh. Ugh, P.U. <laughs> Is that raw fish? Yeah. So, uh, speaking of guys who wear sunglasses inside, I'd say there's a lot of great people in LA, but the percentage of douchebags like there's a lot of there's a lot of douchebags in LA do you have any dating stories like when you got here from New York where you're like oh my like this was just the worst experience of my life well I was married for seven together with someone who I moved out here with for 10 years married for seven so I've only recently experienced I'm now divorced Okay, thank God. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> Only recently experienced I mean, I'm so dating. sorry. We're so sorry. <laughs> oh, Thanks, guys. So, Thanks. must be so oh, yeah. hard. You all right? <laughs> thank you. Mm. Um, yeah, it, so no, dating in LA is weird. Dating in general, I find yeah. really weird and hard, but maybe actors are tough. Yeah. Actors are, I'm not specifically looking no, at you okay. guys. <laughs> You can't but be talking about me. I haven't been on it. <laughs> Actresses it. are also actors in general are tough. It's a tough breed, you know. Yeah, um, it's, it's 
it's in many ways it's like a a good mix but then there's other ways where it just for me it didn't work yeah you can't be talking about me by the way i haven't been I'm on a date in two not. years you haven't no nope. why uh douchebags yeah exactly no i <laughs> wanted to go please. a year without it and then once i hit the year mark i was kind of like well now i don't want to just do it to do it yeah like i want to wait for somebody special and uh yeah now, and i'm just like I i'm so happy in my life that i feel like to when i see other people in relationships and i'm kind of like oh do i really want to like date which is something i hate to possibly get into a relationship yeah. that's like maybe something like um the relationship someone here isn't Let's talk I, about am, it. Uh, I don't want to say who not in, in, a, in a relationship i well, am absolutely today. single today and i'm also not an actor <laughs> Wow! Well, Who knew? Yeah. He's just a can cool dude. Can we talk dude. about? Can we talk about this? Can we please? Who Emily's are, our guest is my asking. My favorite subject. Who are you? We not who, but tell what's the situation? I'm transitioning out of a very. Uh, we love her, all, by the way. They just don't you work don't, together. You don't okay. love her. Okay. I have you on tape. I love her. And go no, on. No, I'm a go, I'm, go I'm on. I'm single. I'm a single guy coming how, out of a, a traumatic, you, okay. entrenched, abusive. <laughs> oh, wow. No, uh, it's physically abusive and verbally, mainly verbally. How long have you been in this? I've been or were in it. Uh, well, it's kind of like a wave. You know how when you come uh, out of the wave, you think it was like so long, but then someone's like, "Oh, it was eight seconds." Yeah, you know, like that's kind of what he's <laughs> he's in. Yeah, right I now. just so like made it to the beach <laughs> and I'm gasping for air. Yeah. Yeah, so it was a year. It Looking was a year. for a lifeguard, okay. ladies. That's it? Well, was just over a year. Yeah. But they bought a house together while not getting along during a pandemic. For real? Oh, yeah. Just, we made all the big bonehead mistakes. That's mm -hmm. a huge decision. Big decision. Wow. Big. So are you together still? No. Okay, what happened? It didn't work. Who's living in the house? Reality. She is. Oh. Because I already own a home. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, man. It just didn't work, dude. It just two two people, both people, not bad. They just don't belong together. How did you meet her? On a podcast oh. seven years ago. Okay. Can't you tell? I mean, look what he throws out there. <laughs> <laughs> he had sunglasses. Doing, and I was he's wearing doing sunglasses. The thing. Okay. Just it's just very not different working. interests. Very different interests. Was she younger, older? She's younger. Okay. Kasim likes to have fun. Got it. I'm a big fun guy. <laughs> yeah, you know she. Uh... She liked to work. Uh huh. Yeah, all the time. Kasim all likes, the time. Unlike you, Kasim enjoys television. She liked to leave Got the it. house. <laughs> <laughs> she said no TV. Right. She said no TV. Mm -hmm. She had a lot of these little she had rules. things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. And Kasim listened because that you know smells very good. By the way, not fishy. I'll write the order. Well, not fishy. Then. <laughs> All of our viewers are really getting a treat. <laughs> Come watch Jamie eat. People, what is it called? A mukbang? I'm so sorry. Where people watch people eat? This is great. I haven't eaten yet today. Jamie, and I'm we not have time the rest of the day. Jamie, we love to be the place that you could come once a week and eat. This is somebody's. <laughs> this is somebody's fetish it's right like, now. Rob, for sure. This is my one time to eat a week. Yeah, we're like Jamie. Can you make it today from 12 to 2? She's like, I could do 12:30 to 1:30. I gotta eat, and I'm gonna be 15 minutes late. Yeah. And we're Boom. like, this is our princess. <laughs> this is our queen, the queen of show business. That's what they call her. We, no, you uh, call me the princess of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. My Jamie Lynn, the princess. Because Jamie would often say that she doesn't feel funny on the show because me and Kasim would like... In general, I just know I'm not funny. Right. But it's, in this hour, like me and Kasim would just go at each other right. and Jamie would just kind of sit there like, you know... I thought whatever. it was a non-factor. So anytime <laughs> Jamie like hits it out of the park... I, I record it and I send it to her and she's our little princess of comedy. There you go. So yeah. he's such a good friend. He is. Very right. But supportive. then the, the problem is she knows she could walk all over me, so she comes to the podcast and eats. It's very disrespectful. I'm so sorry. I don't, no, Jamie, finish your trying. finish your food. <laughs> We're talking about Kasim and his ex girlfriend. Notice my body We're language all over the place. completely closed off to you right now. <laughs> mm hmm Honey. Look, you. So you were in a marriage, and then the marriage uh, didn't work. <laughs> oh, you're turning it on and me. No, I'm. I'm. I'm saying yeah, you, yeah. you found some things out that maybe you guys didn't um, have the same sort of core beliefs. Yeah. Uh, at, you know, in in my case, it was like very different lifestyle. Uh, I had a lifestyle, she had a lifestyle, and they didn't mesh well. Yeah. Or there was no real way to um, 
the the compromise wasn't satisfying to either person. Got so, it. So one person would build up a, a lot of resentment, and it would yeah. fester. And yeah, I also feel like you guys never really had a honeymoon phase. It was like it got always pretty issuey. Yeah, and it got pretty like because we dated seven years ago, and so like when we dated the second time, it got it just kind of it was on a fast track, mm -hmm. and we're like, oh yeah, we're gonna have. We did agree that we wanted to have kids. And we did agree that family was important, and we did agree that we wanted to live together at some point. But um, there's a lot of other things to worry about. Yeah, those are big things, but there are. There well, are you many guys, things. You guys, you just had the seven-year itch, but you weren't together for six and a half of them. It's totally normal. Totally normal. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> six months with you is like seven years. But I, c I can only imagine that, you know, being married and for 10 years, that, that there's... Um, that gives you, I don't know, maybe those things weren't super apparent for you in the beginning and then they kind of came out or did, did did somebody change? Did I, you guys I, change? I met my ex in my mid, early 20s. And so I think that you change so much, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you know, into your into your 30s. Your 20s are what they are. And then your 30s, you really, really change. And you either grow together or apart. Were you guys the same family. age? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So his lobe, year older. not formed. Exactly. So you guys it all goes together. back to lobes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no, wait, apart. Sorry. Okay, I'm just trying to. Wait, why didn't you date or why haven't you been dating? Oh, this is a whole other why show. Why did you choose not to? No. Uh, because Can I just I felt that? like my uh, relationship with sex wasn't very healthy. Like it was more of like, I want to have sex to come. Not I want to have sex with that person because I really care about them or I didn't use it as some way to get closer to somebody. I just used it as like, oh, I feel like coming now. And I didn't like that. Interesting. So I was like, I'm not going to have sex for a year. Oh, Look boy. at these two. Wait, but I'm kind of curious. <laughs> were you not like super attracted to people like people that you met? I mean, attracted beyond physical things. Were you... Before this, you're saying before. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, I also, I got sober like eight years ago okay. or seven and a half years ago, whatever it was. So that changed everything because yeah. all of a sudden you start feeling everything. Yeah. You look at the people you're around. Everything starts changing. You're like, oh, before I would have sex with random girls and not feel bad about it. But then when you get sober and you have to feel, you know, like I told Jamie, it was like when I was doing drugs and partying, it was like. I was going through life like on a plane looking down and it was just everything was like, oh, what's that over there? Like that. And then or like, you know, in a car going down the highway and you see an accident, but you're just you just go by where when you get sober, it was like, wow, I'm just like I have to feel everything. It's like I'm walking my so yeah. it, I would go in to do the same thing that I would normally do, which is like meet a girl out, like have dinner and you go back to your place and have sex. And afterwards, I'd be like, I I'm in bed next to a stranger and there's a stranger in my apartment and yeah. I was so fucking uncomfortable. And I hate it. And I'm like, I don't want to feel this way yeah. anymore. So I tried dating and there just wasn't things working. I saw this a specialist and I was like, you know, we decided or I decided I was going to take a year off. No sex, no dating, no nothing. Got and it. then at the end of that, I was so happy. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy. That's amazing. amazing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That, so now I'm like, well, why am I going to, you know, possibly like for me going on a first date is the worst thing in the world. It's terrible. Yeah. It is terrible. Mm -hmm. It's the it's just worst. Like an it's so fucking. It's yeah. just so like, you know, I was saying to them, there's a show dating on the spectrum, which is like autistic people dating on Netflix. Mm -hmm. You should watch it's that. It's amazing. Oh. oh, thank you. Incredible. <laughs> no, it's, it would make <laughs> you a giant feel autist. So okay. Yeah, it literally makes you yeah. so happy. We're saying you don't like reality TV, it. but it's I'll not like produced, it. like because you can't really produce. Yeah, you know, no. the autistic people they just kind yeah. of do. But it's great because like. Five minutes into a date, the guy will be like, "I'm not feeling this." Yeah, so yeah. And, like, oh, and he just get up and, and walk away. And the girl's okay. If she's not offended. Everyone could be like that. I know. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I relate to them more than like the people on the. She'll be like, yeah. he'll be like, "I'm not feeling romantic feelings for you, just friends." And she'll be like, "Okay." Like her feelings weren't hurt because she's like, "That's how you feel." Yeah. And someone else will feel that way for me. Well, that's people in general. It's really hard to be super transparent. Yeah. Like, you don't want to hurt people. You're scared to be vulnerable. It's a whole thing. You know, yes. As we know. See, I'm not even scared to hurt people. I don't care. I just in the two <laughs> no, years. No, that's not it for me. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. In the two years, I bef I was single before I met Cutter. It was probably the longest I'd ever been single, to yeah. be honest. I'm not. A, I'm not a good dater. I had gotten to the point where I had a couple of little flings, and then I was just like, I don't even want to go yeah. out on it. I want to be alone. Like this is complicated. I just giving my time 
it's a good piece thing. that I wasn't really feeling to see if it could go somewhere as well was just not yeah fun. And I'm also very strange in that, like I have weird things. Like I eat once a day, mm-hmm. and when you're when you start when I was dating, girl, Jamie's looking at you for like, yeah, what a Why? fucking weirdo. Huh? No, Why? no, it's uh, just he just, does intermittent like. fasting. When, what time? Right? Uh, like dinner, right before dinner, whenever, like right after I go to the gym. But intermittent fasting, you eat a couple times today, don't you? <laughs> well, you have you hours. Can, you have like you an eight-hour window. Yeah. But I okay. find that like I like to just eat one big meal. And when you tell girls who are like, you know, hey, like I used to get in fights with girls who I would date because they'd be like, okay, like you know, I'm I'm gonna eat now, and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm not. Like, and, and it would be a problem. <laughs> I'd be like, what do you mean? You're like, I get it. Why don't People you don't just, like eating alone. Yeah, it's like, well, why don't you just order something? I'm like, because I'm not hungry. Like, and I don't want to eat. And they're and then it was a fight. And like, you know, we've talked about it before, but my big thing was like. I don't really like to go to parties and go places, especially right. sober. And when you tell a girl, like, no, I'm not going with you to Sarah's birthday, it's like, eh, you know. I right. do feel like when you are with your person one day, like, you, you, it won't feel as much of a chore because to me, actually, like, I actually, I'm a huge homebody, but I like going places when Cutter's with me because it's actually, I get to experience something with him. Like, I enjoy things more when he's with me. That's very nice. Which is how I know he's my person. Like he, he truly does make it better. <laughs> See, this, he this is how it. she makes up for eating on the podcast. She wins, hate, you, she wins you back. I just hate the stuff out of her my, my person thing. But yeah. Oh, I, that's I, right. I agree, you hate I agree. my person. My I partner. agree. No, it's sweet. My <laughs> husband. Do you want to get the scallions out of your teeth or good for you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I enjoy things more yeah. when he's with me. Yeah. Right. But here's the like we've talked about this already. But I was dating girls who were like cocktail waitresses who like four days a week would want to go d- go to a party. Where with you, it's like four times a year you oh, go yeah. out. So we, we, we're, we're you're the not worst. Like, you're not like oh again this <laughs> you know. Yeah, we're like everybody can come over. We are so happy to have right. people over. Right. So yeah. happy, and our kids are so happy. But we'll go out every once in a while. Just, you know, every once in a while, it's nice to get dressed up and. You know, four times a year, I could do it. But like yeah. four times a week, I'd shoot me. Like I have yeah. to. That's how, a lot. That's yeah. a lot. It's like yeah. I have, you know, it's like it's like going on a million first dates, right? You're like pretending yeah. to like all the yeah. friends and like, so where are you? I hate small talk. I was just gonna say a lot of small talk. Where, where are you from? Like, uh, yeah. okay, I don't. I don't know. How soon? into like first dating somebody can you start getting into like the like brass tacks of like what the possibility of, of the future how like i know when you start dating you have to like kind of play I feel cool like after and easy a certain age, you but, like, start getting to it. i want to know like hey do you want to have kids or like hey do you like where do you see yourself living and if if this goes well like what you know like there's some questions that i think are uncool to ask in the first few outings, but like you kind of want to know to see if you're compatible well, with Well, you that also person. don't want to waste any time when you're in your you know, mid 30s. I'm 37, mid- dude. I got no time to waste. Yeah. And I would like <laughs> I would like like to give them a questionnaire or something before. You well, should. isn't that what online dating is? I will have never online dated and I never will. <laughs> I, I found Cutter like right before the yeah. online dating thing yeah. started. Oh, I've always crushed. got I've always oh, got him in real it. in real Thank God I scooped him right off. How did you guys meet? That sounds disgusting. Uh, why? Well, it sounds like I a... peeled him right uh, off. Yeah. <laughs> he, <laughs> found he him right on the bottom of my shoe. At the time, and he was training with one of my best friend's husband, who was also a baseball player. Okay. So he was around all the time. He had sold his car, so he was living with them. And I was just always there because my one of my best friends. And it was no one by any means was setting us up. I was 30. He was 22. Um, and then we just always end up kind of talking. And then all my girlfriends were like, you should you should hook up with Cutter. And he was like leaving in like three weeks or something. And I'm like, no, he's, he's like a baby. And they're like, just fuck him, Jamie. Yeah. Like, just have fun. Like, who cares? He's leaving. Just get and, pregnant. <laughs> and I think because he was leaving, because he was so much younger, there was no games being played. So right. we, we, hung, we hooked up. And then we're like, what are you doing tomorrow? I'm like, okay. And like, do you want to hang out tonight? Like, there was just, there was no, like, are we doing this right? Should we wait to call? Right. We just literally hung out every day and fell madly in love in those three weeks. And oh. then he left and I went to visit him a bunch of times. And then. And he started his senior year in high school. <laughs> <laughs> he graduated high school. He was yep. studying abroad. Yeah. I remember actually, we went to dinner with his mom right before he left for um, spring permissions. training. <laughs> <laughs> and I was so nervous to meet her because I thought she was going to be like, Your age? this old woman. <laughs> I was just thinking about Jamie coming up to the door like, hey, can Cutter come out? 
<laughs> could come out and jizz. Could Cutter come out and get me pregnant? <laughs> You guys are stupid. <laughs> I was nervous because I was going to be like, who's this 30-year-old dating yeah. my son? But she was the best. She is the best. We we normally name uh, the episode, like, if it's not a guest, something from that. Uh, it would have been, could Cutter come out and jizz if, if you weren't here? And now we got to. Sure She's on that. T. She's on. We got to name it. Emily Wickersham is not on TSI. I have a question for you. When you guys yeah. have your holiday break, are you allowed to leave? Like, do you normally go back COVID? to New York? Yeah, I would. No- yeah, I was going to go back to New York for Thanksgiving. And they were like, no, you can't. I was like, what? They're like, you have to have enough time to be tested before you come back to set. Right. Uh, so I'll go back for Christmas because we will. get two okay. weeks off. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. So we talked about my no sex. When you get divorced, do you just go on mm-hmm. a rampage. Um, I didn't go on uh, on a rampage. What's but... <laughs> what a way with words? <laughs> yeah. How yeah. sore are you? It was like there. looting. <laughs> you know. Uh... Have you seen the looting footage? <laughs> <laughs> but I hadn't like, like I said, I hadn't like really had that period of time in your twenties that most people have. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I was married. Uh, so I was looser in that, not in that, but you know what I mean. Yes. Yeah. No, exactly yeah, I had what you fun. mean. You had to. Yeah, yeah. You had to. Yeah. You date non actors? Yeah. Civilians? I date civilians. What do you <laughs> what do you prefer now? Or do you prefer one over the other? Rob's not an actor anymore. Yeah. Oh. You know. <laughs> He's I'm a poker a, player. Do you, do you date podcasters? <laughs> he sure. Professional trying to. I uh, mean, the two of us are sitting over here being like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you hey. feel like you, if you're dating an actor, you have a lot to talk about? There's a lot of shared experience and you can help each other. You, you kind of know each other's goals and aspirations. But then um, you kind of miss the realism and the grounded sort of uh, conversations you can have with a civilian. I mean, what do you where do where do you you're go? You're so serious all of a sudden. I want to know. But, I, but, but it's the glasses. You're right. Um, I got a lot of range. I, sorry. I, um, oh, it's OK. Oh, I'm not an actor. I, touch, I touched his knee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This We're is hiding. it. Don't, Don't act like, like I'm an actor. <laughs> not an actor. No, I find that I'm not actors, even in SAG anymore. You're Just not. saying. You're not. They dropped me. No, they didn't. I pay my own fucking medical insurance and everything. Uh, is that true? I got proof. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Not an actor. Not an actor. You're Podcast a serious Union. guy. That's You're a full-on non-actor right there. <laughs> yeah. Not taking SAG insurance anymore. It's That's a true. Non. SAG insurance is pretty good. Um, I th- I find that actors are obviously very charming, um, but and wonderful <laughs> people, mm-hmm. by the way. But then when you get uh, growing up, not having been around actors. Um, I do prefer people who are grounded and the entertainment world isn't their whole world, yes. whole, their whole life. Yes. You know, it's not important to me, ultimately. Right. It's more familiar. To yeah. Have some, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, it was nice having you. but uh... <laughs> <laughs> To have substance, you know? Yeah. There are some actors with substance, but I think most people, most actors... Um, I'm just going to shut up right now. No, but, no I know. Okay. Okay. I'll say it. You know what my issue sometimes. was? Was I found that when I was, I had dated a couple of different actors that, and this was nothing against them, but I couldn't handle them having similar insecurities to me. That's interesting. Yeah. I was like, yeah. oh, I don't know. That's my thing yeah. to be like, you're supposed to help me through this. We can't both have this feeling at the yeah. same time. Like, I don't like this. This is a breeding ground for just a lot of negativity. Like, I need somebody to be like, hey, yo, Jamie, get yep. it together. No. Yep. So I think that that's where I was like, oh, okay, this is not going to work for me. Yeah. But because I have... it's nothing against, I get it why they feel that way. I go through it, but I didn't want to have my partner be the same way. Yeah. But with Cutter being in the minor leagues, and we drew in a lot of similarities of of, of things, of, of, of working really hard, and it's sometimes not you know, paying off the way you would want it and things like that, that we were able to kind of be there for each other, but he wasn't drowning in the same things I was. Right. But there's right. also like uh, just actor lingo. Like when I hear actors talk, it just makes me cringe. Like, oh, the breakdown. You, you don't like, understand the, the process. And, like, that was I, just never those, you, even though. Even just those words, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, you know? I'm yeah. Like, yeah. You came out here once, I remember, for a bunch of auditions. I think, was I living here yet or not? And you, you were just like, ugh. Yeah, I was so like, I'm New York. Off. Yeah. And I still feel that way. But paying that much money to, li- like, I can't do winters sober. I just can't do it. Yeah. I can't do February sober. How long have you lived here? Year. 
Yeah, I over a year. year. Yeah. Over oh, year. by so the year. way, you I was told by one of the writers on our show that you were in a poker tournament with him, maybe or some sort of tournament poker, in yeah. Vegas. Mm-hmm. Um, his name is Brendan, and he, yes. he, I think he went up to you, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. that's right. Yeah. Yeah, I do I remember. Remembered. I forgot all about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, tell him I say hi. So he says hi. Aw. Well, hey, Brendan. Yeah. Brendan? Brandon? Brendan. Brendan. Yeah. All right, well, Bryce just told us we've gone over an hour. That's it. Oh, it was so nice cool. having you on. You it was really nice to be I here. I feel like I nice have this, like... Guys strange relationship with you yeah. because like we've run into each other I just a met you and I have and a strange like, relationship sometimes <laughs> chat over Instagram but it's yeah. nice to sit and talk one of you are nice correct you. Yeah. You <laughs> one of you I see the strange relationship the other well, one well I didn't sweet. strange was the wrong word but you know no, 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 I'm you're... only eating once a day once yeah. a week now so <laughs> I'm gonna try words that. don't matter <laughs> your show is on what day what time Ooh, this is all stuff we should know. Such a good question. Ooh, uh, good. Tuesday nights at 8. Tuesday Great? nights at 8. Great time slot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we all know the name of it. I did. I did come Which in. Which stands for CSI. Nas- <laughs> National I had Criminal. in my notes. It's CSI, right? As well. I had in my notes no. how long have you been on CSI? <laughs> Just oh, horrible. It's okay. It's okay. No, no, you're like, no, no years. Years. Welcome to Pajama Pants. <laughs> yeah, exactly. we research. We barely know you. I mean, cool. but we like to find out on the podcast. I like you that. You were so nice. Right? So great meeting Thanks. you. Thanks. That's nice. And um, I, I probably won't ever watch the show, but I okay. would love. Thanks for your honesty. No, but you know what? <laughs> it's. It's because um, I don't have the time. I got a lot. I got a lot going on. A lot on. going on. No TV over there. I'm out in the dating yeah. world. Yeah. I am out there You're doing it. I am. I got a. I got a lot of. Uh, I know some stuff, guys. <laughs> I got nothing. I got nothing. I got I'd nothing. love. I. I wish I could. If these lips could talk. <laughs> well, you know. You've got such a gag order on him. He I won't just, say. He won't open up for the pot. I, I do know, nothing. I really, spill. You know, I you make me everything. say everything that happens in my <laughs> life. This is not okay. Yeah. Let's just say there's more to come. Oh. Well, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna start finding anyway. out how many blowjobs you give a month. Yeah, anyway. it's probably just as, but probably a little more than Jamie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button and uh, click the notification bell so you know when episodes come out. And then, are you on Instagram um, or I Twitter? Am. I am. What are the ha- What are your handles? It's just my name, <laughs> Emily Wickersham. You know, Emily Wickersham. Everybody, <laughs> and uh, we'll have Sorry, her. We'll have that yes. in the in the link That's below it. to okay. click on. And then, um, yeah, askpajamapants at gmail.com if you're trying to date Rob. And <laughs> um, if you <laughs> and if you're on the uh, Reddit, we have a subreddit, r slash pajama pants podcast, and our Instagram. So that's mm-hmm. it. Cool. Oh, are you are you good to go, Jamie? I'm, I, do you have a dessert you'd like to finish I, while we have a minute? Any other errands you want to run tra- while you're on the show? I have to transfer my son's tuition. Do you have any school. laundry you have to fold while we're while we're wrapping so up? Tough crowd nope. here. She's telling me. She's our princess. Okay, see ya. <laughs> <laughs>